Oh, look, look at this. Yep, yep. I think the most useful thing for Lulu right now mm -hmm. would be to go and have a little camera go up inside her mouth, mm -hmm. then do a U-turn and come back down the back of her nose. So it should tell us whether this tissue is, is just mucus and discharge or whether there's actually a tumour up there. It's a really abnormal nose. Lulu to see Dr. Chris, please. Okay, yeah. no problem. We'll get Lulu on the scales there, please. Yep, sure. Lulu, Kim has arrived at the Bondi Clinic, desperate for help for her two-year-old Labradoodle, Lulu. She's having these dreadful sneezing attacks um, three or four times a day. When I take her for walks, you know, she tires out easily and it's quite lethargic. So it's definitely not normal for a young pup. Are you a good girl? Hello, how are you going? Oh, hello, how are you? No, I'm Chris. Oh, uh, Kim. Nice to meet you, Kim. And this, this is, is Lulu. Lulu. All right, come on through. It's all right, darling. It's all right. I've been told that Kim and Lulu are in here because Lulu has been experiencing a lot of sneezing. Come on. Hello, Dr. Chris. Here we now, go. Now, normally sneezing isn't a reason to rush into the vet, so there must be something very different about this case. She has these um, sneezing fits about three or four times a day where she'll sneeze for about 15, 20 times and um, nasal secretions goes flying everywhere. Yeah. I've got to give Kim some credit here because a lot of people just look at that and see a dog sneezing and think, oh, there's just something in the air that stirred her up. But it seems to me to be something more serious. And it's only um, from this nostril. I mean, you can see there's a bit of gunk yeah. there now. And it is almost like she's trying to get something out? Or yes, is it... you think something's stuck there. Mm. Good girl. So a nice grey, pinky colour in there, which is normal. We go across to the other side. It looks a little bit more raw. We've also got that whitey discharge coming out of that nostril. The real challenge for me now is trying to work out what is actually happening inside that left nostril that is causing these sneezing fits that are apparently something to behold. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, look at this. Yep, yep. At Bondi, at Chris breath. is trying to find out why Labradoodle Lulu is having massive sneezing fits. Wow. Yeah. That was extraordinary. That isn't just a normal sneeze. That is a full on experience. The one upside is it's given us a sample. It's given us a lot of samples. What I might do is actually. It's all right, darling. It's all get right. Get a bit of that. It's all right. Now. And it's put that under the microscope and see what we can find. Okay. Chris is hopeful the sample will provide vital clues as to the cause of Lulu's explosive sneezing. Now I can see the few cells that line the nostril and some pus cells, but that's really about it. So really the, the cause of all this isn't sitting on this slide. Because Lulu's sneeze sample is inconclusive, Chris decides a more thorough investigation is needed. I think the most useful thing for Lulu right now mm -hmm. would be to go and have a little camera go up inside her mouth, mm -hmm. then do a U-turn and come back down the back of her nose. Oh, okay. So what I'd like to get do is send you up to Sash. Okay. And get them to, to perform some endoscopy on her. Right, right now, you know, she could have a little bit of grass. She could have a solid colony of, of fungus that's growing in there and irritating her nose. Mm. Or the other, other possibility, which, you know, I, I have to mention, um, is something that isn't so nice, which is something like, like a tumour. I can see Kim's whole demeanour change the moment I mention the fact it could be a tumour. But you have to flag these things. I hope, like hell, it's not. If Lulu did have something that was slow growing and just occasionally pressing on the inside of her nose, you would see sneezing like this. All right, thanks, Kim. Okay, thank Good you. Luck.
Hope you're safe. Thank you. Bye-bye. At the Bondi Referral Hospital sash, Labradoodle Lulu is making a dramatic entrance. All right, darling, all right. For emergency vet Dr Dave Collins, it's a noisy demonstration of the two-year-old symptoms. Okay. Shared it with us? Yeah. That's what she's been doing. You know, she sneezes and almost convulses 20 times. Chris is hopeful further tests at SASH will provide an answer to Lulu's chronic sneezing. No, this way first. This way. So we're going to put her through the CT machine and that'll give us a good look at her whole nose, the internal structures from the frontal sinuses to the, the rest of the nasal cavities. Mama's going to stay, OK? Be a good girl. All right. All right, we'll look after her for you. Thank you. OK. Come on, Lulu. Thank you. Thanks. I know she's in really good hands here and, and Dave's going to do everything he can to, you know, make her right and... Hopefully, yeah, uh, it'll be a good result. Good girl. Owner Kim is facing the possibility that her precious girl could have a tumour. I wish I was there being able to hold a paw for her. The right hand side is full of air, which is normal, but this left is, is completely abnormal and must be giving her a hell of a headache. I'm a bit worried there's a bit of, bit of tissue build up in the back of those sinuses. Um, so we probably need to, to have a look up there to see if there's a tumour. To test for any abnormal growths, iodine contrast dye is being injected into Lulu's veins. As we go to the next study with the contrast, it should tell us whether this tissue is, is just mucus and discharge or whether there's actually a tumour up there. It's a really abnormal nose. We'll just give some contrast now and I'll set up the next one. At SASH, Lulu the Labradoodle is undergoing a CT scan to discover the cause of her sneezing fits. The nose is really angry there and the mucosa is really inflamed. Owner Kim is terrified that Lulu's sneezing could be due to a tumour. A bit nervous and anxious. Yeah, I hope they'll be able to sort it out today. There's a lot of discharge. Must be giving her a hell of a headache. All right. We've found that the fine bony structure of the nose is, is, is in really good shape and if there was a tumour or even a really nasty fungus, they'd be destroyed. So I'm, I'm really pleased that cancer's pretty much off the list. But it's not good news just yet. Dave's now going to insert a small camera into Lulu's nose to search for more clues. Let's have a look. We'll get that in the back. So the endoscope enables us to have a look behind the back of the soft palate. Uh, we're just looking for any kind of foreign body or infection or fungal problems. Yes. Nothing up there that shouldn't be up there. With still no firm answers, Dave now needs to take a tissue sample. Crab. Good little sample, Linda. Once we get the biopsy results, we should know exactly the best way to treat her and, and stop that snot and those sneezing fits, which must be just horrible for her. Hi, Kim. How are you? Hi. <laughs> good news. Everything looks pretty good. So I don't think there's a tumour in there. Oh, thank So you. there's a lot of snot in there, so Lulu's going to have a bit of a headache. All right, Lulu, it's time to go home, darling. How's your nose feeling? Is it all right? Good girl, let's go home. Wanna go see Mum? Come on. Where's your mum? Where's your mum? <gasps> Lulu! Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello. Hello, baby girl. It's a happy reunion, but the cause of Lulu sneezing still isn't clear. So now an anxious Kim will have to wait for the biopsy results. Okay, darling, let's go home. To walk into Sneeze Central. 
Chris is making an important home visit to see sneezing Labradoodle, Lulu. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? Oh, I've been waiting to see you. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Lulu. <laughs> it's hard to forget what happened last time I saw Lulu. Look at my dress. Wow. Yeah. I think that local dry cleaners got years of business out of that one episode, but on a serious side, it really showed just how much this was affecting her. How's Lulu? Um, look, not much better, although, you know, she looks fine today. But, but she still um, has the occasional sneezing yeah. fit. Today, Chris is delivering the sash biopsy results and hopefully a solution for Lulu. Do you want the full works burger of a veterinary term? Yep, sure yeah. do. Lymphocytic plasmacytic rhinitis. Thought that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, I knew you had money on that. <laughs> yeah. No, essentially what it is is her nose is becoming irritated and instead of just handling that in the normal way, her body is freaking out and sending in all these cells into her nose, which is making her nose irritated, even more inflamed. And so instead of just a simple sneeze when it becomes irritated, she has those full sneezing fits. Mm. Oh, okay. Lulu can now start on medication to control her sneezing fits. Open, Lulu. Good girl. How about that? I'm feeling very relieved that it's, you know, it's nothing more serious and it can be treated with, um, with these two types of medication. All right, so All right. we'll talk soon. OK. And hopefully it'll be the last of the sneezing. Yeah, yes. It'll take a couple of weeks for these medications to truly work their magic, but hopefully the next time I see Lulu, it'll all be quiet on the sneezing front. Really? Over there, over you go. Yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it. So, Kim, I'm seeing stripes which hide stains and red which shows every single stain. So which way is it? Are we better or are we not? As for Labradoodle Lulu, it's been a month since she started medication to control her sneezing. It's been miraculous. Great. Those, so the medications work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, within well, within two days, she had cut down to like half of the sneezes. Yep. And within four days, they were gone completely. Wow. I mean, oh, it's just, you know, like such a relief to me, you know. So I guess it was just a matter of her own nose realising it didn't need to react the way it was. Mm. So I'm relieved for you, but of course mm. I'm even more relieved for Lulu, who yeah. doesn't have to go through that ordeal or that experience. Yes. Yeah. So it's all been it's worth it. We're all happy, yes. Yeah. Oh, she's worth it. You feeling better? Mm? What do you think? Happy? Mm. Wow. Uh, At least it's not snotty. <laughs> If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way, that way. <laughs>